I, in this video, I'm going to highlight some uh, concept about quadratic inequality. Okay, uh, so this is not about solving. This is about understanding. For this video, it's for those students that uh, go deeper thinking. I, I do this video because there are some students that would like to ask me question about uh, why is it this the solution? Why is that the solution? Uh, so that 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 means that I need to highlight the concept here. So, uh, if I have x squared greater or equal zero, uh, some students are asking me, okay, sir, what is the solution? Okay, let's say this case, okay, uh, this case. So, sir, what is the solution for, for this? Okay, I will tell the student, okay, uh, the solution can be everything. Mm, can be everything. So, everything means all the number. Uh, without doing any method, is there any method for this? Because why? X can be accept any method. It can, can be accept any value. Uh, you can put in zero. Zero square. You're getting zero. Zero equal to zero. Yes. Accepted. Right? Accepted. So you're putting three square. You're getting nine. Nine. Nine is it greater than zero? Yes. If I put negative ten. Oh, negative number. X is a negative number. Mm. Negative ten square. Negative ten square. What do you get? One hundred. 100 is still positive, ma, right? It's still positive. It's still more than zero. Means accepted. The value of x accepted. Means that x can be accept any value. Any value. Include zero, you know, because zero square is e equal zero. Uh, so means that this, if, it, if they're asking you to solve, uh, do you need a method for this? Uh, understanding is more important, right? Because why? You say uh, 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 any number, any number when you square, any number when you square, include the zero, any number when you square, you get getting at least zero because there is a zero inside here, right? Uh, you're getting at least zero, you know. Negative number also you square, you're getting a number bigger than zero, right? Uh, so any number can be accepted. So if, if more understanding, okay, if you have more understand, uh, you know how to draw out the graph to describe uh, what you understand. So because that x squared is at least zero, you know at least zero so means that any value of x for example negative one uh, let's say this is the graph for y equals to x squared right so then definitely here you have negative one one right because negative one x is negative one square you're getting y is one positive right uh, so if you put in two for example two you know the x is two so the y will be four right uh, if you put negative 3, any value, negative 3, you're putting negative 3, negative 3 squared, the y value here will be 9, right? The value of y is always positive for all the value of x. Uh, so that's why the solution for this is everything, everything, right? So how, how what's the difference? I give you case by case, all right? Uh, please follow this video carefully. If you are an A student, you are a good student, you would like to learn this. Uh, you would like to learn this. So this is a case one. So let's say case two. I give you a case two here. So what if you, what if the question asking, oh, x squared more than zero, uh, then what is your solution? Or oh, what's the difference between these two? Hmm. For me, if I want to study this video, I'm going to pause the video now. I can pause. Uh, I think, why? Before I, I tell you why, you know, what's the difference between these two? Mm. Okay, now let's say you already played the video. Okay, you see, eh? the answer should be this way. Uh, it should be this way. It should be any value of real number. Any value of real number, but exclude. We don't accept the value of zero. Ah, that's the difference. Okay, I, I tell you the answer so that you pause the video again, then you think. Mm. You, you cannot keep watching the video. If I, I was feel sleepy. Okay. So, negative infinity and up to zero and zero up to infinity. I exclude the value of x equals to zero. Uh, I, I don't want the value. Means that x can be any value but cannot be zero. Do you know why? Because there is no equal zero here. It can be any value. Because, because, are they? When you choosing the value of x equals to zero, for example, if you choose the value of x equals to zero, you're putting zero square here. Is it logic if you said zero square? Zero square is zero. Zero more than zero. Upper knee. Right? What is the what is the meaning for this? Zero is zero. Zero is supposed to be equal to zero. How come zero more than zero? Right? 
Uh, so no, that's why I exclude the zero here. It's not satisfied this. Uh, but other value than this, other value than this is accepted. Right? It's accepted. It can be negative 2 square, you're getting 4, still more than 0, right? Uh, the difference between these two. This one can accept 0 because if you put 0 square, 0 square greater or equal 0, doesn't matter. They have an equal here to support the inequality, right? Uh, they have a support, 0 is equal to 0. So this is the two cases that, that you must know. Okay? Alright, let's go further a bit. Let's go to the third cases here. Uh, the basic, uh, the very foundation, uh, let, let's say third cases. So what if I'm going to say that uh, x square is less or equal to 0? Uh, okay, pause the video again. Uh, pause the video again. Assume that you are in my classroom. So let's say if I have x square less than 0. Uh, what's the difference? Apani? And what's the difference? Try to guess. Uh, so, sir going to tell you, Mr. Tan going to tell you that x square less or equal 0, right? x square less or equal 0, they have only one solution, which is x equal to 0. Other than that, it's not acceptable. Okay? Only one solution. When I write equal, means that only one solution, which is 0. Sir, why not x equals to negative 2? Why not x equals to negative 2? Right. Okay, I asked the student. The student, okay, this is my student, for example, one of the students. I said, sir, why not x equals to negative 2? Negative 2 is less than 0. Okay, I try to ask the student. Let's say if I put negative 2 square. Yes, you said x is negative 2. I put negative 2. Negative 2 square. Okay, i asking you, is it a true statement? 4, right? 4 less or equal 0. Is it a true statement? This is a false statement. Right, false statement. It's not true. 4, how come less than 0? Right? So it means no value except zero that can accept zero that can satisfy this inequality. Even a positive value, you put two, you get four. Four more four less than zero. How come? Right? No. Means that x squared always positive. X squared always positive. Uh, it will not become negative. It will not become negative. But this case I accept zero. Uh, it can it, it other value cannot. Only zero because why equals zero ma. zero square less than zero. Okay, uh, at least you still have zero equal the equal here to support the inequality, right? Support the inequality. That's why only one, only one value is true only. Okay, if you set x to zero, zero okay equal to zero. Okay, only one. Other than that, you choose any value is impossible to less than zero. This is only one answer for this. Do you agree? If you not agree, you can personally message me. Okay. So for this, uh, what's the difference between these two? Okay, I believe that you already have your answer. The answer will be no solution. Uh, no solution. This is a way of you write no solution or no solution or empty set. Uh, empty set. So we said that uh, x is the element of empty set also can right it's the element of empty set uh, do you do you, do you know why hmm. because just now you still can accept zero but they said x square less than zero any number do you believe that any number that square is less than zero the question for me is do you believe that any number when you square you're getting a negative number less than zero mean negative is it possible? Uh, you probably you will say impossible. Impossible refer to no solution. No solution. No, not real. It is not real at all. This is not real. Okay? Uh, it's empty set. Okay? So it's not true. So uh, this is the four uh, very foundation that you should study before you go in quadratic inequality for your knowledge. Okay, uh, you should understand the foundation. Okay, uh, so when you understand this, you were able to solve many of the problem. Uh, so, for example, I give you a case here. Okay, I give you a case here. Uh, this is what student asking me, sir. Apakah langkah kerja untuk ini? Sir, saya dapat soalan macam ini. Macam mana saya nak selesaikan? How to solve this problem? And I will tell the question. 
I will tell the student, sorry, I will tell the student, uh, do you know the foundation of the quadratic, a simple quadratic? Okay, look at this, the concept here. X minus 1 square more equals 0. More equals 0. My answer is, X can be anything. Uh, X can be anything. The answer is, negative infinity up to infinity. Uh, so, then if I say that oh, x can be any value of r, uh, don't need to solve, right? Don't need to use any method here, okay? Drawing lumber line, uh, okay? Mm, that one is for those who who not really understand, okay? Uh, so, x minus 1 square is at least 0. So, x negative infinity, infinity, right? x is the element of real number, right? Uh, so, sir, going to share with you, you're supposed to do it this way, okay? Supposed to do it this way. You, you, this is graphically, okay, let's say if you want the method, graphically will be best fit you, okay? Uh, x minus 1 square, okay, definitely you need to understand the graph for quadratic. Uh, this is the graph for y equals to x minus 1 square, right? x minus 1 square. Uh, it's above the x-axis, you know. It's above the x-axis. So it means that the y value, this is the y coordinate, y, y axis. So above here, all the value of y is positive. Below here, all the value of y is negative. So when you say that at least zero, at least zero means uh, you can accept x equals to one. Because one, one minus one, make it zero, right? X minus one, make it zero. So you choose other value, two, three, four, five, six, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six. Uh, you, you choose any value you're putting inside here, you're still getting positive, right? Based on the graph, it's already true, right? It's always positive, right? So if you want to, one of using a method, uh, this will be the method, right? Uh, this will be a method. Or you can do it this way. Graphically, you can do it this way. Uh, the graph, okay. One, right? One. So, it's positive everywhere. Uh, it's positive everywhere. Alright? Uh, include zero as well. Positive and include the zero. So, it means every number. Every number. So, the, the answer will be this way. So, the second case, uh, the second case will be come from this one. Alright? I have to tell you, if you know this, if you understand this very well, then you know all the cases here. So if I have x minus 1 square more than 0, uh, x minus square 1 square more than 0, okay, uh, then I can tell you the difference between these two solutions will be x is the elements of uh, negative infinity up to 1, union 1 up to infinity. Can you see? Supposed to be except every number. But now I throw away one number, I exclude one number, or I write clearly here. Uh, it can be, uh, uh, I can write this way, okay? It's a real number, it's a real number that I exclude the value of one, right? I saya buang nilai x sama satu. Saya buang nilai x sama satu, x tak boleh sama satu. Semua boleh, tapi x tak boleh sama satu. Kenapa? Okay, you can put any value up here, negative or positive. Negative value. Uh, less than 1 or more than 1, you put putting any value, you are getting more than 0. Positive. Uh, you are getting positive. Any value also can, you are getting positive. Except 1. Because if you put 1, 1 minus 1, you are getting equal 0, right? There are no equal here. There are no equal here. So this one you cannot accept. Uh, this one you can accept. Uh, because there is equal here. Alright? Uh, if graphically, if you want to using a method, uh, this will be the method. So as I tell you, if you understand quadratic, there is not a method, no need, there is a method. So you see that, uh, this one, this one is cannot exclude, man, right? Uh, because if you 1, right, during 1, this is your 1, right? 1, 0, right? 1, 0. So 1, 0, the y value, the y value cannot be 0, right? The curve y equals to x minus 1 square, right? Because you don't want to accept the value of 1, right? Uh, so you exclude you exclude the value of 1 here, alright? Because it cannot be 0, right? Cannot be 0. Okay, they don't accept the value of 0. It must be greater than 0. That's why we exclude the value 1 here. So, hope you understand this. Okay, now let's go for the third case here. Uh, if you're asking me, okay, I'm going to highlight detail a bit. Okay, let's say, if you're asking me x minus 1 square less or equal 0, huh, then you know the answer will be x only x equals to 1. Based on the case 3 here. Based on the case 3 here. I go case by case. Based on the case 3 here, 
uh, then you know that it will be x equals to 1 right only x equals to 1 because why if you go 1 1 minus 1 uh, 1 minus 1 yes equals 0 0 equals 0 yes support there is an equal 0 equals 0 here so 1 can be accept other than that cannot okay you put negative 2 negative 2 let's say you choose negative 2 negative 2 minus 1 negative 3 negative 3 square you're getting 9 9 less than 0 not logic uh, so a square cannot be negative a square cannot be negative but can be 0 is it clear for you a square cannot be negative but it can be it might be 0 when x equals 1 uh, so definitely if I go for the foot fault statement I doing this way we say impossible this is called impossible all right it can it cannot be less than zero right it's impossible impossible means no none of it okay or we said element of empty set okay uh, is equals or we said that x is empty set okay x is empty set okay x is is the same as empty set okay uh, it's the same as empty set there are no solution okay no solution all right uh, in the next video i'm going to talk about uh, something even deeper than this all right uh, an another case than this so that uh, you, you can study about that if you love it all right see you